Welcome to the 2021 BBC Music Magazine Awards. In what's been a hard year for everyone, we've been overwhelmed by the quality of the recordings that have been released. Our list of nominations was as full of invention, musical skill and passion as any other year we've had since we started the awards back in 2006. This year, again, we're unable to host a live winner's ceremony. So this year, the awards are presented by me and the rest of the BBC Music Magazine editorial team. Deputy Editor Jeremy Pound, Reviews Editor Michael Beek, and Freya Parr, our Digital Editor and Staff Writer. There are 11 awards in total, six of them, orchestral, instrumental, vocal, choral, opera and concerto, that you all voted for from our list of nominations, announced back in February. And five jury awards, Premier, DVD, Best Newcomer, Music Personality of the Year, and finally, the coveted Recording of the Year. So, let's get on with the show. Let's turn to the Orchestral Award. And the three recordings shortlisted in this category are the Academy für Alte Musik Berlin and Bernhard Falk's recording of symphonies by C.P.E. Bach and Beethoven for Harmonia Mundi. Respighi's Roman Trilogy, recorded by the Symphonia of London under John Wilson for the Shandos label. And the Complete Symphonies of Schmidt, and that's a Deutsche Grammophon recording made by the Frankfurt Radio Symphony Orchestra under Pavo Yervi. And the winner is the Sinfonia of London and John Wilson's recording of Respighi's Fountains of Rome, Pines of Rome and Roman Festivals, in which the thrilling experience of these big scale works is matched by immaculate clarity and brilliant attention to detail. And that's on the Shandos label. I'm absolutely thrilled to win this award, as are all my friends and colleagues in the Sinfonia of London. We worked incredibly hard to do justice to Respighi's marvellous Roman trilogy and we were so wonderfully well served by our producer Brian Pigeon and the great engineering of Ralph Cousins who captured all of the detail that was happening in the room. So my, my thanks to them, to the BBC Music Magazine, to everyone at Chandos, to all of those marvellous players and to everyone who voted for us. Thank you. And now it's time for this year's Instrumental Award. Nominated this year were Violist Tabby Zimmerman's Solo Volume 2, featuring works by Bach and Kurtag, released on the Mirios label, Stephen Osborne's performance of Prokofiev Piano Sonatas on Hyperion, and pianist Elizabeth Leonskaya's recording of Robert Schumann's Variations and Sonatas on the EA Sonus label. This year's instrumental winner brought a tremendous physicality to their performance of repertoire that is quite a well-trodden path for pianists. This new recording brings nuance, depth and poetry to the harrowing sonatas of Prokofiev in what our jury referred to as an electrifying tour de force. The winner of this year's Instrumental Award is Stephen Osborne for his album of Prokofiev piano sonatas released on the Hyperion label. Oh, this is brilliant. Thank you so much for this award. Thank you to everyone who voted. It makes all the bludgeoned fingers worthwhile. Thanks to Dave Heinet for the fantastic sound and to Stephen Johns who produced the record, who was very patient during the whole editing process because I'm very demanding during all of that. And finally, a big thank you to Hyperion Records and to Sullivan Sweetland Artist Management, who I've worked with for decades now and whose support I appreciate so much. Thank you. Here we are at the Opera Award, and the nominees are Malcolm Arnold's The Dancing Master, featuring Eleanor Dennis, Ed Lyon, and Graham Broadbent with the BBC Concert Orchestra, conducted by John Andrews, on resonance. Honorato handles Agrippina with a cast led by Joyce DiDonato and Il Pomodoro conducted by Maxim Emelianichev. And last but not least, Lully's Isis featuring Amory Lefebvre and Cyril Alberti with L'Italien Lyrique and Christophe Rousset on Aparte. The winner is a great rediscovery, rejected in 1952 for being too bawdy for television and now finding its audience thanks to a colourful premiere recording. I'm thrilled to say the Opera Award goes to Malcolm Arnold's The Dancing Master. Here's conductor John Andrews to accept it. Making the CD of The Dancing Master was easily one of the most 
enjoyable and exciting weeks of my life. So on behalf of the cast, Ellie, Catherine, Fiona, Ed, Mark and Graham, from Adam and the team at Resonus and from the Malcolm Arnold estate, who were wonderful supporters of this disc, thank you so much for this award. It means the world that people have enjoyed listening to it as much as we enjoyed making it. Have a great evening. Let's turn to the Chamber Award. The nominations are Piano Quintets by Elgar and Beach, performed by the Takash Quartet and pianist Garrick Olson, and that's on the Hyperion label. On Shandos, British Violin Sonatas Volume 3, including works by York Bowen, John Ireland and William Alwyn, played by violinist Tasman Little and pianist Piers Lane. And for Sony Classical, cello sonatas by Richard Strauss, performed by cellist Raffaella Gromus and pianist Julian Rehm. The winner is violinist Tasman Little and pianist Piers Lane's remarkable showcase of lesser-known piano works for violin and piano on the Shandos label. Here's Tasman Little to accept the award. I'm absolutely thrilled to receive this BBC Music Magazine Chamber Music Award for the final volume of British Violin Sonatas. It's particularly meaningful for me because this is the last recording after a long and very happy collaboration with Chandos Records and an even longer collaboration with my dear friend Piers Lane. Thank you again. I will absolutely treasure this award. It's time for the Choral Award. And nominated in this category are Tchaikovsky's All Night Vigil and Sacred Choral Works in a recording for the Ondine label made by the Latvian Radio Choir under Sigvard's Klava. Joska Masses, in which the Talis Scholars are conducted by Peter Phillips for the Gimmel label. And Handel Sampson, recorded for Lynn Records by the Dunedin Consort under John Butt. In this instance, the winner is notable not just for amazingly crisp, clean performances recorded in fantastic sound, but also for the culmination of a recording project which has gone back 34 years and incorporated nine volumes, all devoted to the one composer. I am of course talking about the Talis Scholars and Peter Phillips recordings of Joscan Masses for the Gimmel label. The Talis Scholars and I are thrilled to be given the Choral Award for this year. I always put Josquin up with the very greatest. It seems to me that these masses we've been recording are on a par with Beethoven's symphonies for sheer invention and variety. So I hope the award means that more people will be listening to Josquin. He really is well worth it. And I would like to thank all those who voted for us. Thanks. Here we are with the Concerto Award. And the nominees are on Hyperion, Shostakovich Violin Concertos, performed by Alina Ibragimova with the State Academic Symphony Orchestra of Russia, conducted by Vladimir Jurovsky. Schumann and Brahms Concertos, performed by Antje Weidhaas, with Max Hornung and the NDR Radio Philharmonie, conducted by Andrew Manzi on CPO. And finally, on the Frederick Chopin Institute label, Chopin's Piano Concertos, performed by Kevin Kenner and the Apollon Musagette Quartet. The winning recording is a bit of an emotional roller coaster, bringing together two great works in a truly compelling performance. I'm really happy to say the Concerto Award goes to Antje Weidhaus's recording of Schumann and Brahms. Here's the violinist to accept the award. Receiving the BBC Music Magazine Award 2021 in the Concerto category, especially in this difficult time for musicians in general, really means a lot to me. I feel deeply honoured and would like to thank the readers of the magazine and especially the voters. Many thanks to the label CPO and to the NDR for giving us all possible support to realize this project. To Hans Ulrich Bastin for his great sound and editing work. And last but not least, my special gratitude to my highly esteemed colleagues, Maximilian Hornung, Andrew Mancy, and the wonderful musicians of the NDR Radio Philharmonie Hannover for an exciting and highly motivated cooperation. And now on to the Vocal Award. The nominations are Chanson d'Amour, a collection of French art songs by soprano Sabine de Vier and pianist Alexandre Tachot on Erato. El Noor, the debut album from soprano Fatma Saeed on Warner Classics. 
and Marla's Das Lied von der Erde, recorded by Sarah Connolly, Robert Dean Smith and the Berlin Radio Symphony Orchestra, conducted by Vladimir Jarofsky and released on the Pentatone label. It's not often a debut recording captures the imagination of critics and audiences alike in such a profound way, but this broader crossing recital programme was unanimously praised by our jury. With a stellar supporting cast of musicians, the debut from this innovative young soprano showcases the round, smooth quality of her voice and the lightness of touch in her diction and interpretations, whether singing in French, Spanish or Arabic. The winner of the vocal category this year is El Noor, the debut recording on Warner Classics from soprano Fatma Saeed. I am so happy and overwhelmed receiving this award. Thank you to all of the musicians who were part of this album and for pouring your hearts out into this work. I feel so grateful for the most amazing team at Warner Classics who made it all possible. Um, I appreciate all the voters who listened to El Noor and took the time to vote, including my family, my most supportive friends and my own people from my home in Egypt. Um, thank you. Now we move to a special award, BBC Music Magazine's Music Personality of the Year. In a year where the pandemic has deprived so many children of a normal education, there have been bright lights shining the way. People who have combined their considerable influence with technology to keep our kids on track. One such person has, along with a dedicated team and some of the world's finest musicians and educators, produced a mind-boggling array of online courses and virtual sessions reaching thousands of children in 66 countries. The winner of our Music Personality of the Year is an inspiring role model, a born communicator and an incredible musician, violinist Nicola Benedetti, whose Benedetti Foundation has been utterly indispensable for many these past 12 months. Here's Nicola Benedetti to accept the award. Hi everyone, it's Nikki here and I would like to just say how touched and honoured I am to receive the BBC Music Magazine Personality of the Year Award. Thank you so much. And we now move on to our Newcomer Award, chosen by the jury for the best debut recording of the year. And the winner is... El Noor, soprano Fatma Saeed's brilliantly imaginative and exquisitely performed recital of songs from Spain, France and North Africa. Saeed was joined for the recording by a range of musicians, including pianist Malcolm Martineau and guitarist Rafael Aguirre. And the recording was made on the Warner Classics label. I am so thrilled to be granted this award by the esteemed jury of reviewers at the BBC Classical Music magazine. This year has been a real struggle to many, especially in the music industry. Still, it's, it's been a year of perseverance and a lot of hard work. I feel so blessed that I was still able to make music happen, which wouldn't have been possible without uh, the continuous support of my management and all the love and support I felt uh, from my family and friends. Thank you so much for believing in me. And now we find ourselves at the Premier Award, voted for by the awards jury. The jury had its work cut out this year with many fabulous premier recordings to consider, from unrecorded gems of the past to brand new works by brilliant young talents. One recording stood out from the crowd though. A whole disc of premier recordings by a composer much missed since his death in 2013, no longer mourned for me on Hyperion, is a remarkable and moving survey of John Taverner's final works. It was a project years in the making presided over by his great friend and collaborator, Stephen Isselis. Here he is to accept the award. A virtual hello and many thanks for this award. I'm thrilled because it was such a personal project. You know, my sort of something I promised to John Tavener before he died and finally we were able to deliver it. So I'm very happy to have this sort of very nice appreciation and I hope his spirit's happy too with it. Thank you very much. Have a good virtual ceremony. And now for a jury award. This time it's for Best DVD. This wonderful production of one of the opera world's best love masterpieces was praised by our critics for exposing the frailty of its characters and for its thrilling take on Wagner's iconic score, thanks to the expert handling of music director Antonio Papano.
Filmed at the Royal Opera House during its 2018 staging, this production dazzled our judges, particularly Nina Stemmer as Brunhilde, who gave a moving, lyrical interpretation of the role. This year's winner for Best DVD is Opus Arte's film of the Royal Opera House's production of Wagner's Die Valkura, directed by Keith Warner and conducted by Antonio Papano. To BBC Music Magazine, thank you so much for recognising this production of Die Valkyra, producer Keith Warner and the most amazing cast and my beautiful, beautiful orchestra. Um, I've spent so much time with this overwhelming piece of music and its unique dramaturgy, um, music theatre at its very, very best. Um, this is a, indeed a great honour. And thank you, Richard Wagner. So now it's the turn of our most coveted award, the recording of the year given to the very best of this year's award winners. This year, the winner features music by a composer whose 500th anniversary falls this year. So I'm delighted to announce that our recording of the year has been awarded to the Talis Scholars and their conductor, Peter Phillips, for their astonishing ninth and final instalment of choral music by Josquin on the Gimel label. Here's Peter Phillips to accept the award. You know, the first disc of our Josquin mass cycle was called Record of the Year. So you can imagine what it feels like for the last one to be given the Recording of the Year award 34 years later. So I would like to thank all the singers, our recording engineer, Phil Hobbs, my producer, Steve Smith, Josquin, and I'd like to extend those thanks to the scientists, many of whom are based in our hometown of Oxford, who are trying to find a way out of the pandemic, which I hope means that before very long now, we'll all be able to meet in a concert hall again. Well, that brings us to the end of this year's awards. It just remains for us to thank the awards jury and to congratulate all of this year's winners. Thank you for watching, and we do hope you enjoyed the show. Here's to a live ceremony next year. Goodbye. <laughs>